Steve Show. Step aside and let the big kids play. Wrong dog in your ears. Sweet kids. So much better with music. It's I know, so much better when know, you're not singing the intro. Really? Yeah. The James Steve Show, the James Steve Show, the James Steve Show. <laughs> na 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 na. No? Yeah. Even Big B's just like right, an intro. Yeah. You good? I think so. Alright. There we go. There's Wobbly Mike. Yes. Yes. Well, well, well. I actually, yeah. I, I, I saw that we, we were going to do a completely different topic today. And and then I just, I happened to glance at somebody's comment about when they realized their parents were kind of just human. And I was like, oh, this is a good one. Because as kids, you kind of, you think your parents are these superhuman, invincible people. Mm-hmm. At what point did you realize that they were just human? You right. know, like, you know, you, you've. I don't know. <laughs> because, well, okay, for a guy, if you find your dad's porn stash, he's still awesome to you because now he's normal. You know? Um, <laughs> normal, but, but not human. Yeah, you know, that okay. that kind of... I don't know. I mean, you know... Uh, Dragon Eye says he, he noticed when he saw his dad found out that his mom passed away. See, see, and that's what I'm on about. See, mm-hmm. that's what I... You know, I, I... I realized my dad was human when I saw his um, pinup picture of girls leaning over the hood of a car in the garage. Yeah. yeah. Wait, really? That took you a long time then. <laughs> she, yeah. she was really... Her parents really isolated her from anything of, like, the problems they had. Yeah. I mean, I, I, you know, that's the one thing I, I definitely, you know, kind of... Yeah, like, my dad was laid off from American back in, mm-hmm. like, late 80s or something, and he'd worked there since, like, 76. He got up every morning, took me to school, and acted like he was going off to work. Like, he'd get dressed up to go to work uh, in, like, his suit and everything for, like, almost a whole year while he was still laid off, and to not let me be worried about it. Yeah, which is... So, so yeah, that was, like, I mean, that was, like, when I was, like, seven, I think. So, like, my brother and sister were already gone. So it was just me at the house. So to see my dad there all the time, it would be, I would have noticed. So when I scream at the kids, we've got no money because it's their fault. That's probably not the, the not. right kind probably of parenting not. tips. Maybe not. You cost so much fucking money! <laughs> so, yeah, I, you know, um, I thought, yeah, I thought that was cool. Um, A quick hello to all of the Periscope users out there. Thanks for joining. Make sure to follow me on here. Yes, Iron Maiden does rule. Um... Uh, you can also catch us on Facebook, the Jane and Steve Show page. Go mm-hmm. like us there. Mm-hmm. Marcus said when uh, his parents split up, he was in the eighth grade. <laughs> so that's a... Uh, Vic says, I found out when my stepdad asked me to shower with him. <laughs> <laughs> oh, hang on. Hey. <laughs> I need some soapy time. <laughs> soapy time. Mm-hmm. That's yeah, that's gross. right. Yeah, that's... You know, it, it, it is. It's it's that it's that moment you kind of realize. Oh, they're kind of people. People. They're real people. Yeah. See, I remember my parents were always getting it on because they'd all of a sudden they never shut the door. It was like there was a closet door and another door that kind of like backed up to each other, uh-huh. and they'd have it like that. And then sometimes my mom would shut the door, and then you'd hear it lock. And then I was just like, man, really? I don't need to know this shit. <laughs> just lock the door all the time, and then I just don't have to think about it. But like, when you hear that click, because it was a really loud click, it like went all the way down the hallway to my room. It's like I could hear it. I was just like, oh, God. They're getting it all. <laughs> yeah. Yes, that it was disturbing. Right so it was very disturbing. It, it's. See, uh, there were no locks on my parents' door. Uh, but I actually I don't remember anything like that at all. The The one thing. The one thing with my dad that um, 
I think always kind of put him in that realm of like superhuman class was and and this isn't going to make a lot of sense to people unless they actually know my dad and my my religious situation my dad never nobody could beat him in an argument he was like he was always right I got people saying, well, my parents smoked a blunt with me. There you um, go. You, you see. know, and yeah. then Magnum said, you know, I always kind of knew because my mom always had a hard time, kind of still does. So I kind of hmm. always paid attention yeah. to what was going uh, on. Big B said his dad was in a car wreck and can't work until this day. That was 12 when that happened. Wow. So you kind of realize your dad's not invincible. Mm-hmm. And yeah, mine was just. I thought Ethan's being silent over there. He's like, yeah, I got nothing. When did you realize your dad was not superhuman? When he dropped my brother on the floor and broke the back of his head. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's actually a good one. Yeah, yeah. But That wasn't me, just for reference. <laughs> yeah. So I, I Don't even get me started on you. <laughs> <laughs> you haven't figured out I'm not superhuman yet. Mm-hmm. Still sure. there. I yeah. think he's always known you're human. I, I, I think that's no. just kind of a thing. There is mm-hmm. no way. There's no way. Um, yeah, I, you know, no one, no one could ever prove my dad wrong, and I watched people do it. Now, see, I know you Try it. thought something very different of your parents when we went to Eureka, California, and you're like, "What is that smell?" And I'm like, "That's pot." And you're like, "Yes." Oh, yeah. <laughs> I so the smell. So yeah, when we were in Eureka, California, yeah, I. T- <laughs> so we had a good point, Steve. Anybody named Cinnamon Buns is not superhuman. Just we started that. No, I'll do that one later. <laughs> Um, yeah, I did. I smelled pot for like the first time, and I was like, "Oh my god, that's that's the smell I used to smell in my dad's car." I, I mean, it was like an instant back to my childhood, mm-hmm. and uh, it was. Our nanny was the one who burst out laughing. Yeah, and she was just like, and kind of looked at me like, "Do I should I say this? Will I get <laughs> fired for this?" And um, and then you started laughing as well, and yes, all of a sudden it was uh, that's pot. <laughs> And I don't know. I don't know. I, I still to this day you should I ask can't. Him. I yeah. I should I think do you actually. Did, didn't you? He denied it. Yeah. yeah. Of course yeah. he's gonna deny. I it. know. My dad denies everything. But, uh, yeah. My my da- my dad's like a like like um like a politician. Uh, I'll, even if there is absolute proof sat in front of you, he will still deny it to the end of days. Mm. So. Yeah. Um, um, Night Smoker said he was eight when his parents got divorced. Mm. Yes. So, um. Yeah, Big B. Uh, Ethan might figure it out about Steve when he finds out about the S5, but I he doesn't actually out. know I about the S5. I do know. Mm-hmm. You do know now. Yes, but I figured that out well before then anyway, so oh. it wasn't that that caused me to realize that he's not superhuman. Oh. <laughs> Fine. Uh, and Mark says, welcome back, Ethan. He hopes you had a nice trip, and sorry that Rose is all talking, no show. It's okay, I was waiting, but... <laughs> She yeah, came on the show yesterday text. and then tucked her tail behind her legs and walked away. Mm, yeah. Yep. She quickly Absolutely. went away when we called her all out on it. I think even Steph was just like, if that's even your real name. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. I, I reckon Steph Rose might be a guy. I might just be a guy. I, I, I don't know. I don't know. Do you, <laughs> now, it, Ethan does have a couple stories for us from, Do from the depths of Florida. He where had he a went. good yeah. time. This yes, he did. Yeah. He did. He was not, for the record, the guy found chewing another guy's face off after stabbing them in Florida. <laughs> that was not Ethan. Did that just so we're clear. Recently? Yeah, it happened like yesterday or the day before. It Some, was a nineteen-year-old was, frat boy. Yeah, he was. It, and you are <laughs> I was like, quickly go ooh, through the was story. It, was it uh, the Pike? He, was that I, the Pike Cap Alpha? I, what? I don't know. <laughs> you I just don't know. spoke Chinese. <laughs> um, uh, there was a there was a kid that was going out. Uh, with his parents uh, to a restaurant and apparently the service was taking too long and he got really, really mad and mm-hmm. stormed out, right? And the, his parents were like, that's the last we saw of him. He just stormed out. Mm-hmm. Right there is what's wrong with our society because if any of you fuckers storm out of a restaurant over service, you wouldn't get as far as the fucking door because I would already wrestle you to the <laughs> ground and force you back to the chair and tell you to calm the fuck down or I'll bottle you. <laughs> you gotta do that to your own kid, yep. right? Yep, that's it. But anyway, he basically he went off and he found this random couple. They were just they were at their house. Yeah, mm-hmm. just and he went in and he used apparently instruments he found in the garage. So it wasn't just one instrument he used, and he stabbed them both to death. And when the police turned up, apparently people had tried to get this kid off these two people, and they couldn't. And when the police turned up, he was eating the face of the one guy. Yeah. 
He was like on top of him eating his face. And the police had to like super taser him to get him off. Mm-hmm. They couldn't even get him off. What? Yeah. <laughs> I know. Florida. Right? <laughs> yep, Florida. Florida. Yeah. I, I mean, it really I know. I saw the story. Like, I was like 19 year old college student. I was like, shit. Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I know that was my immediate thought. See, we think the best of you. <laughs> so, so yes. Uh, so, uh, do, do you want to tell us about your little escapade? Mm-hmm. Um, don't worry. I, I Marcus is our show lawyer, so I'm sure he can come up with something to defend you. It's safe. So my um, my pet badger, pet um, badger. <laughs> may or may not have uh, found his way into the. Paris Hilton house pool. <laughs> That's so <laughs> awesome, isn't it? Wow. So you, so you scaled her wall. So no, to speak. my badger, badger did. did. Oh, yeah. Sorry, the badger did. <laughs> yes. And and uh, and sort of checked out checked out her pool a bit. Yes. Okay. There's no euphemisms there. It was her pool. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you found her wet patch. That's that's right. That's all I got. So your badger was in her wet patch mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. in her yard. Yes. Your badger was in her beaver, <laughs> so to speak. Yes. And okay. My badger watched the um, the meteor shower from her private beach. Cool. So, oh, okay. Wow. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so uh, that, that's that's not bad. That's not bad. I I would put that on a on a fairly that's pretty cool. decent list that of mm-hmm. of achievements in your life so yeah. far. Well, your badger's achievements. <laughs> yes, <laughs> my badger. Magnus knows that a honey badger or an American badger. It's actually the lesser known European badger. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's pretty cool. It is. I, I so we don't. Uh, so uh, did did the badger tell you whether there was actually people in the house? Could you see people in the house? Was the badger said beaver there? that he might have seen people. Ah. So it could have been there. I don't know where Paris Hilton my, was. My badger's my friends said that they saw people. <laughs> but my badger didn't see anybody. You know, you probably have a future as a lawyer if you wanted to go down that route. <laughs> He's always been able to do that. I know. That. Yes, I know. Uh, no, Big B, he did not bang Paris Hilton. No. <laughs> people are like, so by Ethan, badger, does he mean... badger. He's- Banged Paris Hilton. <laughs> Everybody's wanting to know. So by badger, does that mean you jump <laughs> naked into Paris Hilton's pool? I he I don't know. My badger didn't tell me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Okay. We have our Turkish listener back again. Hello. Oh, yeah. hi. Yep. How's the airstrikes? Jesus. I'm just, horrible. I'm trying to relate. He's trying to like jerk off right now. I know. And I'm trying to relate to him. <laughs> I'm just... Were you were you on the does he does he ever talk to us or does um, he just Um he's coming please help it's that guy again. Is it that guy again? Yeah, okay. He, I mean, he doesn't say Were you on words. were you on the coup side or were you on the the president's side? I'm just trying to, you know, are you having to keep a low profile cuz I hear they're going door to door right now. I guess we could wait for a long time. <laughs> Depends how long he can hang on for. So uh so yes. Well, I got off my thing. Come on, when did when did people like? Uh, okay. When did people find out their parents weren't real? Um, I don't think anybody really said it much more. I mean, I don't know because I mean, yeah, Marcus and Big B said, and we kind of had a lot of people. So, if for all you that are now joining Periscope, when did you find out that your parents were human, not real? I said not real. <laughs> I know. That was that was. Nice so, like they are real. <laughs> <laughs> so right, yeah, my, you know, and mine was just mm-hmm. a simple case of uh, uh, my, you know. The Turkish guy said to you, "I went to fuck. Do you hip doesn't?" No, I can't. My hip is totally <laughs> fucked. Actually, so yeah, no. See, how does that work with him? Because he generally hears my voice and sees yeah. you. See, I've always said right, we need we to do this. Speak, yeah. Uh, we need sh- to uh, say this right don't here. Don't let them know. Uh, Y'all are such gossips. <laughs> that was very hard to do it when you went slow like that. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> well, well, you just have to practice it. Right yeah, yeah, yeah. Lol, lol, lol. <laughs> I am Lord. Lol, lol, lol. 
So, okay. Jeez. Yes, I know that was horrible. <laughs> <laughs> we didn't practice that shit. No, we didn't. We didn't. Um, it's not acting class. Yeah, I think, you know, I think we have a lot of really young listeners today in oh, Spreaker. You... So I don't think maybe they haven't realized their parents are human yet. Because I'm not, <laughs> for some people, I don't think it really happens until they're older. Like for me, you know, with my dad and the girl stuff in the car, you know, in the garage, I was just like, <laughs> what? And I was, what, 34? Two thirty three. Yeah, yeah, something like <laughs> no, that. No, no, no. Oh my god. Um, our topic for the new person um is you know when did you find out that your parents were human? Like you know, you realized they were hiding something from you, or that they were just like you, or you know that they were, they were as, normal people, as fragile as as regular people. Yeah. So you know, just and that, real. that, that, yeah, totally that, just real. just that kind of thing. When I when I realized that my dad actually wasn't right. Because I'd always just accepted my dad was right about everything. Uh, Nev said he realized his mom was human when she said to get out and get a job. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, she just got real? <laughs> wow. <laughs> I think more, yeah, I think it's more of like the shit got real for him, not that his mom got real at that uh-huh. point. So. Yeah, yeah, but... I, I guess so. Okay. Uh, you want to change it up? Yeah. Okay. As you know, we're all about, mm-hmm. you know, on this show, when it comes... <laughs> Somebody said when they dropped the F-bomb and they screwed up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I, it's funny. I actually never heard. Oh, my mom called me a bitch one time. Oh, did she? That's awesome. <laughs> wow. I was like, what were you doing? I was like, oh, how old was I? I was like 23, 24. But mm-hmm. I mean, she was doing it kind of funny, but she actually said bitch. I was like, could, yeah, could you I, know what that word means? Parent, yeah, I think parents cool. really, t- we don't, but pe- most parents hold back on their language with their kids. I don't think my parents really ever yeah. said any bad words. I don't think your dad knows a swear word. Oh, he does, because he turn really? off TV as soon as it come on. So he's like, well, oh, I know, but that's what I'm on about. I don't think mm-hmm. he's actually ever said one. Oh, I'm sure he's never said one. No. no. But my mom called me a bitch. I was like, that's awesome. Yeah. I actually laughed. <laughs> she wasn't calling me a bitch because I was being a bitch. She was just, you know. I heard my mum swear once, and she said, Jesus Christ. Wow. So, yeah. Yeah, that was, that was, yeah, that was a dark day. I found it funny when my mom started saying crap. <laughs> and I was just like... You're like you're sixty hip something years old. That's <laughs> not cute. <laughs> so yeah. So uh, you know. Anyway, so if you've got stories, uh, you know, just write them in the room or on the mm-hmm. chat box or something. Um, okay. So as you know, this show we are all on. You know, we're all about you know fags having equal rights and things like that. You know. And <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. You know, not, not discriminating against all the pufters and you know. The lady so boys and equal. just yeah, fuck yeah, okay. yeah. Uh, I so I need John Oliver to do a thing about schools. Okay. All right, I okay. need him to do a thing about schools because I am so sick and tired of schools having no fucking. They are the most detached lot from reality I've ever come across. Because schools? schools have obviously everybody knows schools have this insane policy of zero tolerance. Mm-hmm. Like, i.e., there are no mitigating circumstances. You actually are treated fairer in a court of law than you are when you're a pupil at a school because there are no mitigating circumstances. Okay, okay. so uh, you know, and they do just the most batshit crazy things. Well, of course, you know, everybody's concerned now about gender equality and this, mm-hmm. and um. Uh, North Carolina um, school boards have adopted right. a, um, you know, sort of a, an, uh, a gender equality program, and it is fucked up. I even okay. goes, oh, God, here's the transition to rant day. <laughs> the teachers are not allowed to call the children boys or girls anymore. They are only that. allowed to call them students, right? They, um, there is, I think there are 57 separate rules now governing how teachers can speak to children. Um, yeah, and this isn't just in North Carolina, I don't think. I think this is in a couple different places. Yep. Um, so, basically, they they said, you know, what it's effectively saying is that, you know, like, the boy might be a boy at home, but when he goes yeah. to school, if he wants to be a girl, he can be a girl. Yeah, Lowe's is All like, right? that is fucking ridiculous. It's, you know, and I get it. I get it. A lot of transgenders, you know, even when they're young, they kind of knew... That it's not like, oh, I'm a boy, I need to be a girl, or a girl, I need to be... But mm-hmm. they just identify from day one like that. They, they're just... Mm-hmm. They don't care what tackle they've got. And then they're, I mean, they're using this, like, whole, like, little, like, uh, image. It's called a gender unicorn. 
And it's like a character yeah. to like help explain in you know issues like gender identity and expression. You don't. And like that. You don't need <laughs> to explain it to kids. This is you see again. This is schools. This is for for adults. You you mm-hmm. don't need to explain gender equality to kids. Kids will just do whatever they want. It, it's just this. Yeah, you know, Magnum's like you know they're trying to please everybody, but you know. It's but they're not. not you see, and, and this is where yeah, this is where it gets saying. fucked up when you mm-hmm. try and make rules. Governing people's, um, like, I, I, I don't know how to explain this. I don't know how to put this into words. But it's, it's when you try to make rules that govern morals, it becomes really difficult. Mm. And, you know, when you start saying, well, you can't call, you know, a boy a boy, of course you can. Mm-hmm. Cool. You know, so what? I mean, if he's like, well, I think I'm a girl, he's going to probably tell the teacher. Any rate. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'm a girl. Yeah, it is political correct madness, John said. It, it, and it I, is. And it, I know. I, I am so preaching to the choir with our listeners. Yes. You know? Yeah. Well, I'm, some are just like, well, it's their issue, not mine. I don't want to hear about it, so let's not even go that way. So, you know, we've got some people that are kind of on both sides. Um, but, it, but it is your issue because it will come to a school near you. And it, mm-hmm. it's going to start, you know... I, there, was a, there was a weird moment and... and um, I haven't spoken to you about this, oh, but God. when when we were at the drag club, something dawned on me when I was there, because there were there were definitely guys there dressed up as women, but actually looked good. I mean, they. Are you talking about the drag people? No, there were some in the audience as well. There was a couple around the bars. I don't think you noticed them because you were always kind of focused no. right out to the stage. But there was a couple in the back, and. Did they turn you on? No. <laughs> but oh, fags. Um, Steve. What? What? Horrible. No, I wouldn't say things like that. I love the gays. Well, they're not gays. They're, so they're like the guy that got really excited about Julie Andrews possibly doing a movie today. Fuck yes. <laughs> um, but it, you know, it, it made me realize. Like when I saw them, it was my thought process was this. I was just like, wow, they're good looking. Oh wait, is that a guy or a girl? And and that's the part I guess of of humanity mm-hmm. and and us as a species we probably need to lose is that second question. You know, if you're attracted to somebody, it actually shouldn't matter whether it's a boy or a girl, right? Mm-hmm. And so my point and how I'm tying all this in... I, go on. You can have something to if say. you're attracted to somebody, uh-huh. I feel like it should matter if it's a boy or a girl to a certain part uh, because eventually you're going to want to do things with them in bed. And if it turns out mm-hmm. that they have a dick and right. you're not exactly into that, right? then... I, I know, but that 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 in effect is 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 where we almost need to change as a species. I mean, I get it. I mean, you know, there there are there are guys that don't like women and they just like men, and there are also guys that like men and women, Marcus. Um, <laughs> so it, it's you know it's but it, it's it's that thing of as a species we're we're going oh they're they're attractive. Oh, I need to know whether they're uh, uh, you know, sort of a guy or a girl at that point. No, you know? we have somebody, Jeep Man Mike, and he's like, oh, you don't get it. But he's like, you know, oh, God made Adam and Eve, not Adam and Steve. Keep him out of our bathroom. Well, actually, actually, God didn't make <laughs> Adam and Eve. Um, you know, so obviously that's number one problem and that argument doesn't stand. I could go down that route endlessly. Pretty much there's so much gayism in the animal kingdom. Uh, if- Liz wants to know, when you were in third grade, did you think you were gay? No, but 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 I. Did you have that when I was when I was eleven? When I was eleven, I wasn't sure if I liked like guys. Uh, There was a weird. It was probably. It was. I don't have Skype, John, so I don't know what I can do. Um, (laughs) so I, you know, I don't, I don't know. Yeah, I kind of just had that, that kind of. Oh, do I? And then I was like. No, I don't think I do. But there was that. But that you was went that. through that. Yeah. See, I, yeah, I never did. go through something like that. Yeah. So, you know. Does, like, everybody do that? I think apparently most boys do. I've sp- You know, to guys I've spoken to who are actually fucking honest, right? They were like, yeah, there's, <laughs> there's kind of like a period. It was like the few I've sp- I've probably spoken to maybe f- four, three, three other guys. About that, and they and they all said it was about fifteen, sixteen for them. Really? Yeah. Is that like a normal thing? 
Well, he's not going to admit it. He's well, still homophobic. There were times where I'm like, wait, I'm like, yeah, I'm like, fuck, no, I'm not. Gay. <laughs> <laughs> so it wasn't like a big contemplation thing. It was just right, like right. Something in my mind was like, hey. Well, okay. I was like, no. <laughs> yeah, and I was the one asking. Oh yeah, him. fireman and Lowe said yes. They, you know, yes, it's normal. Yes, they yeah, do it too, it, you so. know. So the, you know, there's, and I don't know. Go, going back to the school, and I think this is the problem, and this is where I think you know, school boards especially, they just miss the point. This isn't about making rules of whether or not you can be identified as a boy or a girl. That doesn't matter. Mm. You know, it, it's, you're not, you're not, oppre- I mean, and this is where it's stupid. You're not oppressing somebody by going, oh, come on, boys and girls. But if you were stood in front of them going, you're a boy, you are not allowed to be anything else. You have to play with G.I. Joe, you ha-, which is kind of gay. Um, but you are having to do all of that. Then that is starting to be oppressive to somebody. But just calling them a boy or a girl because that's how from an identity point of view that they're seen as mm-hmm. you have to do that mm-hmm. you know i mean think about it right for all the women that are screaming out there <laughs> you're welcome <laughs> um for all the women that are screaming out there you know of just like you know oh oh my god no you know you shouldn't oppress it because let's face it whenever there's these oppression things go on i fucking 20 year old girls are always like oh my god you're being so oppressive to them mm-hmm. how would you like it if every guy came up to him and went are you a dude You'd get really fucking annoyed quick. Mm-hmm. So nobody wants to. Nobody wants to be asked that question. Uh, you can identify with the way you behave. Yeah, Phoebe's saying, you know, this day. I guess we can't assume about anybody's gender any anymore. You know? No, we just have to. And this is what I'm saying. At, at some point, mm-hmm. when we're attracted to somebody, the idea of whether they're a boy or a girl actually needs to vanish because it's a weird. You know, really quickly, we have a lot of people asking: Is this? Uh, can they watch the show later? Um, yes, you can. On Periscope. Um, yeah, on Periscope. Um, make sure to follow me on here. But you can also go to roosterfm.com and watch, listen to all of our old shows. We're yep. here Monday through Friday, so make sure to follow us. So you know, mm-hmm. I, I'm, and I will put the YouTube stream back mm-hmm. up at some point. I just phew, can't be bothered. <sighs> Maybe I will. Why? You like do it for like a day and then you don't. I know. That's it, mm-hmm. and then you're just like, oh yeah, I could be bothered today. So, so there's, there's no you know, so I, I'm, I'm like, you know, the idea that the the school board now, um, hang on, let me find one of the quotes. Um, uh, Hugo says, so they can't identify them as boy or girl, but they can mandatorily do so when designated. You must use this bathroom. No, I, I do not understand the whole bathroom issue, and I started out very much yeah. against. I was very much against anybody transgender using like if if they have twig and berries they're not using the women's bathroom i was very much against it yeah you and, were and then you something irritated me yeah i know <laughs> then something dawned on me i was like are you we're fucking stupid every single person that goes no if they ever do they should just be using the guy's bathroom and blah 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 do you have a men and women's bathroom in your house oh that's right no sorry let me rephrase that do you have a men and women's bathroom in your trailer no you have a mixed bathroom so who gives a fuck it shouldn't matter and you know so as far oh my god john i, I don't just, know how else to I explain this hear you. i just typed him <sighs> and drew called that a stupid comparison no it's not a comparison and it's not oh, but stupid said he sound like a voice over guy for movies mm, no it's no, it's not. It's not uh, no. And we got people going. No, that is a great comparison. So it's exactly the point. Who cares? Mm-hmm. You know, I and it's this weird thing. And I'll tell you right now, right? The guys that have a problem with this and the women, you're the same type of people that think gay men are pedophiles. Because I never even understood the connection that you American backwards males make about that that oh if they're gay they're also a pedophile because i remember your brother had that opinion of gays yeah you know and and magnum's like you know the only problem is that people that dress you know that cross dress will be entering the other bathrooms you know what so what people that are cross dressing dude fucking put a dress on and see if you've got balls to walk down the street to do it nobody believe me just to go in the other bathroom no 
I mean, Steve will dress up like girls any day. You're not going to walk into a girl's bathroom. But I will not. No, no, no. And that's the point you're all fucking missing. You think that perverts are going to be, oh, if I dress like a woman, I can go into the woman's bathroom Mm -hmm. and take pictures of little girls or little boys. No, you fucking retard. That's what fucking covert cameras are. They can fucking go in that when there's nobody there, fit a camera, video all day without any problems. A, A guy or a girl going into somebody else's bathroom to take a leak or to take a poo, that's all they're trying to do. Mm-hmm. And it's just, I, I, I don't understand this thing of like, oh, well, you know, they could dress up to go in uh, there. Yeah. Yeah. Lulu, we do have young kids. So mm-hmm. we do have, she said, if not, we, you don't have a clue. But, uh, yeah, no, actually, no, that is I don't not know true. If she's no. She's saying that to us or to somebody else. I think she might be saying that to somebody else in the room. It's, no, it, yeah, because it doesn't matter. I would not have a problem if a woman no. walked into a bathroom. Right? You know, with, with their kid or whatever. I don't care. <laughs> You're not going to be able to go to the bathroom. You're going to be like having I'd like, like stage fright, aren't all you? Right. <laughs> yeah, right. It's my game. Oh, no, no. Nice no, no, because he's went in with his girlfriend and used the girls' restroom before. I mean, it's not a big deal. You guys are going it, to It the really bathroom. isn't. It's I, not a big here's deal. Here's the thing, and I think this is one thing that probably puts me at a slight advantage, is when I was, uh, when I was on contract work in London, uh, most of the most of the big financial corporations uh, have unisex bathrooms because space is such an issue in London. Mm-hmm. To have two separate bathrooms is ridiculous, so it's mm-hmm. unisex, mm-hmm. and th- and that was back in the nineties. Mm-hmm. So you know, for me, it, that was never an argument. What what became the argument is when somebody can go, I choose to go into a female bathroom. My personal view is restaurants everything should just make a unisex bathroom for starters it'll stop all you men fucking being disgusting pigs that you are and pissing over loose seats you fucking tards god damn it i'm so pissed off with that what is wrong with you lot if you're gonna go in a stall right and take a piss then fucking aim in there or sit down don't fucking stand up you can't aim for shit it's amazing you even have kids with that aim I don't know, can she get pregnant through, you know, her hair? Uh, Alyssa, so that probably wouldn't change anything. <laughs> no, probably not, because I've heard not. some of the women's bathrooms. But And, it, you know, it, it's... No, as far as the whole bathroom thing, that's a load of homophobic people that are just creating a stink for no reason. That's all it is. Go on. Oh, somebody said poo on the sides of the seat gets me. Yeah. So gross. And Bigby says, it's gross. I don't know why some dudes are so gross. It is. It's it's bizarre. And here's the thing, right? Mm-hmm. I wipe the whole place down before I go. I also wipe it afterwards. It's not difficult. And he also takes pictures of other people in the stalls. Yes, I do. Yes, he does. Yes, I do. He tweets them to me. Yeah. Yeah, I do. <laughs> Yeah, sorry, John, that I, d- I don't have Skype still. I had it last week when you asked me to get that set up, but then I, you know, I had to move on. So back to the school thing. You know, yeah, I mean, so they're basically making sure that, you know, kids aren't having these, like, issues of being called a boy or being called a girl when that actually isn't the case, which it's, is just kind of pointless. I hate to break it to all of you parents, mm-hmm. but as kids, you don't call each other boys and girls. It doesn't happen. We actually don't do that. If you think about it, when you were six or seven, when did you go, oh, hello, boy? Oh, hello, Richard. Are you a boy? Kids don't do that. You're making rules for no reason. You're making rules that are just going to make everything that much more well, awkward. I think it's kind of more for, like, the teachers, you know, where it's like, okay, boys on one side, girls on this side, and, you know. Like, hey, hey, boys, sort of. come in here. Yeah. Or something. Yeah. Which is ridiculous. And the, prob- the problem with that, right, is that it goes down. Where do you stop? You know, it's like, oh, well, they can't distinguish that anymore. So does that mean we're not allowed to take the mick out of gingers anymore? Thank you. <laughs> Nothing. What? Nothing. I wonder what? if transgender, if, if boys who have who have become a girl, if mm-hmm. they use the bathroom like girls do and like seven go at a time. I yeah. wonder if they do that. And do they all have make-out sessions? Because that's what I think happens with women. <laughs> that's what I hope. Well, actually. Doesn't happen. Not the McDonald's bathroom because the women's that go in there are like, Ooh, don't want to the see that. The women's that go yeah, in there. Yeah, the, the women's. women's. Yes. <laughs> so. No, that does not happen in the girls' bathroom. Damn it. Just like hot guys don't go to sex addiction <laughs> things. <laughs> I don't know. We haven't tried yet. We should really <laughs> check that, that out. We really I, should check that out. I, I just, I don't know. I think it's a shame. You know, schools are just, 
I don't know. School boards to me are like the retarded cousin we all have in our family. You know, they have to be there whether you like it or not, and you've got to treat them with respect, but we all think they're idiots. <laughs> Everybody's on the bathroom, and who's better? Who's better bathrooms? You know, Magnum's like, wow, bath- women's bathrooms are way better. They have freaking couches. Oh, um, yeah, women's bathrooms. <laughs> when I went into a woman's bathroom in the Hilton once by accident, they had fucking carpet there on the floor. Carpet. Yeah. Popori. Popori. By the sinks. Popori. That weird stuff Pupuri. that you don't know whether you need to eat or smell. <laughs> By the way, don't eat it. It's disgusting. Um, <laughs> uh, but Marcus yeah. says in his experience, women's restrooms are just as nasty or more nasty than the men's. No way. Yes, we have carpet in sometimes. Mm. And Batman was like, what? Yeah, no, yeah. that's true. Yes. Um, you know, Marcus said he used to clean them. But yeah, sometimes girls' bathrooms can be, you know, just as bad. But mm-hmm. they're not as messy, I don't think. But, you know. No, they're not. I, there is, there are very few places where you can go where the bathrooms are always clean. And I, I mean, it's... Magnum <laughs> says he petitions for carpet in men's bathrooms. Absolutely. He's really excited about that. Yeah, apparently. it would be so cool. But we couldn't, because they'd be piss stained. Because you know, there's always a fucking gym rat in there that's going to go, oh, let me piss on the carpet with my big cock. <laughs> you know exactly what's going to happen. And that's, yeah, that's, that's the problem. And that's why everybody freaks out about gender bathrooms. Don't worry about it. Mm. Uh, somebody said, uh, uh, Bigby said three bathrooms, a men's, women, and a transgender. Problem solved. Nope. But I think that's no, it's actually not. creating more of a problem. It is. Just make it. Why are you doing mm-hmm. that? Because what you're then doing is, it's people are going in there to take a piss. All right? If you guys think that people, yes, I granted, there are certain bathrooms you can go in and get blown. I understand that. Mm-hmm. My number is currently... Over a lot of bathroom stalls. Apparently, Big B confirmed my number is now in the Walmart bathroom store. Fantastic. So I need to find my phone so I can stay on top of this now. Um, it doesn't matter. It, it, people are just going in there to, to have a wee and a poo. It's, it's just... It's, honestly, it is homophobic men and women who are trying to make this an issue. Because this is one of the last bastions for their, for their stand. Mm-hmm. That's that's it. They got nothing after that. And we all have a unisex bathroom at home. And you do the same function you right. do at your going, home oh, but bathroom. But I'm in there and, you know, other people come in, you know. I right. think they're having a problem with you that. Have I mean, a you have a unisex bathroom at home, of course, but it's only a one-person bathroom. Right, but it's a store with right. a door on it. Mm-hmm. Well, oh, so, okay, so let me get this right. Just, just so we're all clear, you homophobic guys out there, right? You're totally cool with another guy's cock out inches from you as long as there's a piece of board there. But you're not okay if a woman's there. Is that your problem? It, I don't think it's actually guys that are having a problem with girls maybe coming into the bathroom. Oh, it is. No, 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 no. So. It's guys it's... going into girls' but Guys yeah. have a problem with guys being women going into girls' bathroom because yeah, they think, think oh, they're all perverts. That. And they're yeah. not. You got, uh, do you know, and here's the way I sit, right? Until you've walked a complete day in a transgender's pair of shoes, and they are fierce, honey, fierce, you have no idea. You have absolutely no idea. To me, if anybody's got the ball, and we've seen, we see, you know, down in Portland, I mean, you know, we'll see transgender couples occasionally. The mm-hmm. guts it takes to be like that, you can, you know, you can be as arrogant as you want about it, but to actually go out and do that, nah. You can take a piss in my toilet any time. Just for having the guts to do that. Wow. And Big B's thinking of the silver lining. He said if you have just one bathroom, you could possibly meet some ladies in the bathroom. So is it like a new hookup? Yeah. Could be. <laughs> and that's the thing. There are so many places. There are so many nightclubs There's and things like that. Later. Where, you know, where, where there's already unisex bathrooms. Mm-hmm. You know? You can't call Miguel. Just like John couldn't call. Steve doesn't have the Skype set up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're kind of downsizing all the equipment here now. So, uh, so yeah. Yeah, Magnum, you know, his point, you know, with all of, I think with everything, you know, from the schools to the bathrooms, he said this shouldn't ever be a situation that becomes political. It is just that we're humans. Mm-hmm. And I, and it I is. think that's what it is, yeah. It, you know, it, it's just, I, I just, I get really annoyed with school boards because school boards are the epitome of PC going wrong. You know, and then you've got the flip side with the other school, which had the learning disability, uh, learning 
disability. Steve is a graduate. Yeah. Um, <laughs> uh, Muslim kid who basically they, they interrogated him and said he was making bombs at the house. And they, ex- oh, it was a complete racist you know thing he's been suspended he has learning difficulties apparently they got him to sign a confession that he was making bombs at school no parent present no police present the school headmaster sat down and got him to write this out and to sign his name to it and so you know so you've got that side of it you know and and that's the um um put me on speaker i don't know what part of i can't take a skype call right now miguel you don't fucking understand <laughs> But it's like when I say I don't have Skype right now, what do you want me to do? You want me to turn on my computer that's actually doing... I, I think he's talking maybe like on the phone or something. I don't have my phone here either. And I'm not giving you a house phone. Sorry. <laughs> no, he's just giving out his cell phone so that my you know, cell phone, random yeah. people can like text it. Because his right. number is now in like bathroom stalls across America. So... There's my thing. Uh, you know, I'm just... I don't know. I know, I know. Miguel, I will try and figure it out. <laughs> Not. Um, I can't find the story that I clicked on now, damn it. Uh, so anyway, so this... So yeah, the school board... What, what is it? It's like 57 rules, I think, they've actually come up with. See, I think it's just making it harder to, uh, to be a teacher nowadays. Well, you know, the the stupid part is, right, the story itself, and it was on Fox News, so you know how balanced reporting this was. You know, it was just like, so, so, you know, for example, boys who identify as girls would be permitted to participate on overnight all-girl field trips. Uh, That's a rule sure to be a hit with 13-year-olds. No, you see, here's the problem, right? And this is where men, right, and women, who traditionally are Republicans, are fucking perverts. Because they're coming up with this idea of like, oh, hang on, a boy can pretend. A 13-year-old boy is going to pretend to be a girl to go on a school trip. Do you not remember what you were like? Well, I know what you were probably like at 13. But at 13, you don't... (laughs) Yeah. Deciding to change your gender at age 13? Yeah, you must have a death wish. (laughs) Even if you are the stud of the school and like, yeah, I can get with some... Get with some, uh, you know, some girls now. Yeah, I'm going to pretend to be a girl. Really? Really? Hey, to Steph. She said, what up, awesome people and Steve? All right. <laughs> uh, so, I, I don't know. Uh, Magnum just... says, you know, what about Ethan? He said he could, you know, with makeup on, he could totally pass for a woman. Yeah. No, I think Ethan can pass more as, an, as a hot 80s icon. I think that's, you, you kind of had that sort of 80s look about you. Is it just yeah, really fucking hot outside? Am I going to blow this? It's kind of warm. Oh, no, that's better. Okay. <sighs> uh, somebody said you look like Hillary Swank. I don't know who Hillary Swank is. <laughs> Ethan's going to type it in right now. Um, <laughs> I can kind of see that. Um, so, yeah. I don't know. We got people on both ends on Periscope, you know, that are kind of actually, you know, Saying no, 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 they shouldn't be allowed, and you know that's gross and that's horrible. And but I think most people, most most of our listeners here today are, are you know, like it doesn't matter. Here's the thing: to it's every, ironically the guys that are to, having the problem. Of course it is. Of course it is. It's and it comes down to your fragile fucking male ego, right? Here's the thing, and I want everybody that thinks right mm-hmm. that you know sort of uh, transgender people shouldn't be able to use the bathroom they identify with. To all of you people that think that's wrong. You're a dying breed. You are going to be extinct. I do because think that's that, a dying yeah, breed, no, though. it I is. Really don't it think really so. is. It really is. It is a slippery slope. Fifty years? No, it's not a slippery slope at all. Fifty years ago, your 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 attitude is exactly the same. Like, well, black people can't use my bathroom. <laughs> they should have their own designated bathroom. <laughs> Night smoker says, says the guy who whose balls are actually his car. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> I never said I was consistent in this show. I've always maintained I'm a hypocrite, just so we're clear about that. <clears throat> so, you know, and, and, and that's the point. The point about all of this is that that opinion is the same opinion that kept racism going for years. And yeah, have we stamped racism, 
is a mountain. No, absolutely not. You know why? Because you've all come to the surface again because you're supporting Trump. Quite easy. Because that's where all the racists are hanging out currently. So we all know who you are. We all know what you do. You basically live in a trailer and you work at a manual job and you vote Republican. We, we know your M.O. Hey, Lick Lally. Good to see you. She's late. Oh, is she? Mm -hmm. Have you done a test yet? Yes. Not that kind of late. Oh, okay. So anyway, that's my my thing. Okay. Conversations that are going on in the two rooms. I'm like, it's just interesting. We should just like be quiet and just let them chat. Yes, Magnum Lick Lolly is there now. <laughs> She's got her own little fan club going on. Yeah, right she now. really. Yeah, yeah, she does. Uh -huh. She the one that's. That she does... said, "There's no plumbing left for the test." <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> As a woman after my own heart. <laughs> uh, this is. Steve, who's speaking, is neither Jerry Springer nor Simon. They, they want to know if you're Jerry Springer or Simon Cowell. <laughs> <laughs> wow, so Leonard is off to Vegas tomorrow. Oh, yes. Yes, and he gets married, what, Saturday? Is it Saturday? Yeah, mm -hmm. Saturday, I think it is. Yeah. Very exciting. Yeah. yeah. We want pictures. I want pictures. You better Absolutely. send pictures. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Too right. Yes, Lick Wally is going to be scope, scoping, putting your number in the bathrooms in Georgia. Oh, cool. I guess maybe later. Cool. I need something. to... I See, I need to follow I got you. her on here. I'll find her. I'll, I'll send you... You never fucking is. tell me. I'll tell you what it is. I haven't followed her back yet there. I just... I, I need to... Yeah, I, I, I don't... Yes, I don't understand. Yes, we need to see that. Yes. Yeah, too hard. Nathan's like, what is going on? Yeah. Nope, I know about it. Oh, you know about it? Wow. Yes. Wow. He's seriously clued up. Yeah. I know he's quiet in the corner, but he clearly listens. I know. Mm -hmm. So, yeah. So, anyway, that's... Uh, I don't know. School boards should not be starting to have to be taught how to handle. I, I get it. There are still asshole teachers out there. Uh, one guy says, dude, the accent is badass. Can you say you are not the father, Jimmy? You're not the father, Jimmy. <laughs> I don't know what that's from. Don't know. If you tell me what it's from, I can figure Somebody out. Somebody says you sound like Pierce Morgan. Oh, now you j just <laughs> seriously. If that was a guy that said that, take that your guy. take your cock out, bend it round your taint, and fuck your own ass. Wow, Pierce Morgan's. I that man is just disgusting. Disgusting, Pierce Morgan. I couldn't believe when he came over here in America. I was like, fuck, he's gone back. Thankfully. You all hated on it. He went whining back to England to go sit in his stupid ass little paper. He he was the editor of the Daily Mail, so you are aware that terrible newspaper that's always full of shit. Oh yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, it's him. So yeah, ah, oh, so there we go. Oh, they want to know can you speak Scottish? No, my accent. Can you do a 007 impression or no. a Sean Connery impression? No. You can do Sean Connery sometimes. Yeah, I, I, I'm not very good at doing accents on cue. I, I kind of just <laughs> fall into them, and then they go off the rails very quickly. It's never what you're thinking. Yeah. My accent is like somebody walking across Europe. It just changes as the, the longer it goes on. So, yeah, that's kind of... Uh, yeah. Weird and horrible. Are we going to see Sausage Fest today? Or um, whatever it's called. Yeah. Hey, it's you're babysitting. Fucking amazing. <laughs> Is it really, really that good? It's really, really that good. It's. And you said we were gonna look like really bad parents if we took yes, our kids don't there. Yes, don't take them. Don't there. take them. See, that's shocking to Probably me because don't you take know what they kid watch. Much under like sixteen. <laughs> really? Is that really? bad? Wow. Yes. <laughs> Is I there is there is there close ups of food sex? Is that what some I'm of the not gonna are? spoil anything for you, but really? it is pretty fucking out there. Knowing how no. I laugh, how bad am I going to be laugh in this film? A lot. Am I really? Yeah. Okay. Uh, yeah, Orlando says that movie was fucked up from beginning to end. You <laughs> know it. when you go to see a comedy uh -huh. in a movie theater, it's not like a lot of times that the whole movie theater laughs. Like maybe right. one or two jokes right. in the comedy movie, but yeah. the whole movie theater's laughing. But the whole movie theater was laughing throughout the whole entire movie. Oh, wow. Oh, okay, that's cool. See, I do miss that. I, I know you were in Florida, but I miss that about Dallas. When we used to go to the movie theater there, people were a lot more into the movie. So if there was, you know, like a semi-funny movie, mm -hmm. you know, the whole, the whole movie theater would laugh with you. Whereas here, it's all very 
broken and disjointed. People yeah. laugh at different Orlando things. Orlando says, prepare your mental state. Yeah, it. it's like there's mm-hmm. just so many jokes. Yeah, it's like, no, take the kids. <laughs> if, if one joke, if you don't find that one joke funny, there's just like two more right after it that you're really? going to find funny. Okay, so it's just it's full just on end full. to end. Yeah. Okay, so it's fucking amazing. we'll be going to the movies later tonight. Yes. Probably. Yeah. Is it still showing? It just came out. It just out. came out. Oh, did it? Like, okay. We saw it, it. It came out on the 12th, but oh. I don't know how, but we saw it on the 11th. Yeah, oh, they'll normally show it the night they before do it the night in, like, before. big areas. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So, okay. well, yeah, yeah, especially with, like, fine. big releases. I didn't know it was like the first that. day. It wasn't, like, completely packed in there either. Yeah. Are you tired, Steve? You only got up <sighs> at, like, 11.15. I know. <laughs> I went to bed late. I guess. I guess. So did I. You were already in bed. Yeah, I know. I had just fallen asleep before you got home, though. Right. Okay. <sighs> so yes, sausage party later tonight. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Not a comment I was expecting. <laughs> there we go. Oh, um, uh, Nightspecker says you didn't answer his text, you bastard. What text? I don't know. He said he texted you. Uh. All right. I don't have my phone with me. I actually don't. I don't know where my phone is. See, one of the problems with me and phones is I don't have them. Uh, Mr. Goldie, Steve, or Ethan was in Florida. You know, where Rose was, but Rose never, you know, text or, mm-hmm. you know, I was made ready. any comment, you know, contact with anybody at all. Strangely absent again. Uh, Miguel's asking how the Marcus and Steph situation is. Um, you know, I don't think any changed since yesterday. No. Except no. he's really excited to go back to college to, you know, have like... He's decided he wants people. to take her to a strip club now. Yeah, because they might touch girls. I, just... <laughs> I, I mean, he understands the rules at strip clubs, right? And if you're at a strip club where there is touching, you probably don't want to be touching it. Probably not. That's generally the rule of thumb with strip clubs. Oh, and Ethan McGill says thanks for coming to visit him. You, you, I don't know where you are, but it's at least eight hours away. You're just not that special to me. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Miguel, let me know if you need me to send you a bottle of water for that burn. <laughs> a bottle of water? Uh, oh, here we go. Called you a cunt. <laughs> Figured he would. <laughs> yeah. I, I have. Space is in between each letter, so it was like a serious <laughs> cunt. <laughs> yeah, I don't think that would be a good idea, Marcus. Hey, Ethan, go meet up with an 11 year old girl randomly in Florida and take a picture with her. Marcus knows her, don't worry. Yeah. <laughs> I have a problem. I, I, well, I, I have two foil anuses, a foil vagina and foil boobs with any nipples nowadays. Why didn't you do that? I don't know. I think I was bored. Any nipples, really? That's gross. Well, I don't. They're innies. I know. That's now gross. I, now i got to get little foil bits and stick them in there to create the nipples <laughs> again. Um, I need to give these away. We'll figure something out tomorrow. Basically, I can create, I can create an autonom- autonomously correct female. Plus, I have a spare anus. Right, but, okay, her cunt is, like, way bigger than her boobs right now. Well, you know, she could be from Wales or something. <laughs> Okay. Yeah. Uh, yeah, Nev wants you to do a fan giveaway. So maybe tomorrow you could play, you know, Gay Steve Bingo. Mm-hmm. GaySteve.com, we can play it. You should just change it. No, I'm gonna, no, I'm going to figure something better. Because okay. I quite possibly have some really cool stuff to give away soon. Very, very soon. <laughs> no, it's not the S5. <laughs> <laughs> Before anybody goes, so oh my funny. God, it's the car. Yeah, no, no. it's not. Um Uh, Miguel says he can't use the anus you sent him because it's too stretched out, but he's preparing your box now. <laughs> yeah, he is. No, it's not me. He's not giving me away. I go. I come with the car anyway, yeah. so... <laughs> Y'all are fucked up. You know that, right? <laughs> um, oh. Yeah, so, no. I, I... Mm-hmm. You can't give that away. Ethan I'm gave not. that to you. Oh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. There you go, you see? and post that on Trump's page on Twitter. See what he does. <laughs> so, yeah. So, we'll have, we'll have some cool giveaways yeah. coming up okay. soon. 
but uh, yeah. but not yet, but not yet. So yeah, I I can't. I need to get rid of these foil anuses and foil vaginas and foil boobs because we we are starting to downsize some stuff here in the office. Mm-hmm. There's going to be some stuff. Believe it or not, going. Ethan, while you're gone, we actually downsized a lot of stuff in the Yeah, that's what I heard. Yeah, it I'm doesn't look like it. No, it doesn't. No, <laughs> yeah, but this room just looks clean. I know. Well, yeah. there was that. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. So so yeah so we we're, we're yes we're doing stuff. Okay, what are you doing? I'm working out big mm-hmm. these offer. Oh, two hundred a week for hundred. One hundred forty-eight weeks. Jesus Christ, man! <laughs> you want me to do it? I have a calculator here. Twenty-nine thousand six hundred. Hmm. So he's paying you a bit extra. Uh-huh. I I I would need. I would need. Uh, I don't come for that awful offer. <coughs> like, as Steve was trying to like give me away yesterday with yeah. the car. I'm I, I would not have. I would need at least two thousand down to do that. Oh. Yeah, you're not doing that. I know what you're doing. You're not doing that. What? Just sell the car. I'm so just, well. Just I'm like, it. if he if he puts a couple grand down, I take two hundred bucks a week for one hundred and forty eight weeks. Isn't it interesting? I'm talking to one of our listeners about potentially selling you and the car. <laughs> <laughs> Not selling me. That's right. I, I really. Nor I should. Do I, come for I should move to Saudi. I have a feeling I'd probably fit in well there. <laughs> I think. I think I'd be right up my street that place. I have a good for sale. Oh, excellent. I'd like to buy that woman over there. No. <laughs> <laughs> Transylvanian <laughs> Saudi guys. Mm, okay. Uh, no, it says I'll pay 201. Oh, this is good. We can just like, do like a bidding thing. It's fine. It could be like a bidding war. Yeah, but who was that? Nev. Yeah, but I don't know you. We'll sell you and then travel. <sighs> At least I know Big B would actually take care of it. Uh, Magnum says 202. This is getting serious. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll take bids on it. It's for 148 weeks. And you have to have at least... No, yeah. I, I, I don't know if I trust you Periscope people. <laughs> Why would you not trust Periscope people? I don't know. They just seem sketchy. <laughs> 205 from steve Oh, Steve-O, yeah. Yeah, if it's Steve-O. 206 Magnum said, Jesus, this is not a fucking question. All right, option. yeah, that's it. That's... Uh, Lowe says, are you going to do a credit check? No. <laughs> so it's at $206. No, I'm all about the subprime uh, mm-hmm. uh, auto loans now. Uh, Jewel says 250 250 250 a week, yeah. 148 148 weeks. weeks. Do you honestly know? Are you that <laughs> secure with your... 251. <laughs> yeah, all right. 251. Like, 251. 251. Can I see 252? 252. Give uh, them a minute. They'll, they'll definitely I'm looking for 260. There. Anybody got a 260? Anybody got a 260? <laughs> 260's going. So we're at 251. We have not met the reserve yet. Brent said 300,000. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Miguel says 262. Okay. Jesus. I mean, you realize that's per week. <laughs> that's like, you're, you're up to like over a grand a month. 38. Oh, per, yeah. Per week, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah, no, I just. I, 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 I'm no disrespect to anybody well, else. You'll give me a million euros for it. But I. I a million euros. That's like, wor- euros are worth something now, so. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I know. See, Big B, I would actually trust to actually make the payments. I don't know why I've never met the guy. I don't even know what he looks like. Somebody could turn up and go, hey, I'm Big B. Give me the keys. I'm like, all right. <laughs> so basically, the first one to my house. So. Oh. Uh, oh, staff. Uh, Magnum says you're also throwing a dick pic for you. Oh. Uh-huh. Oh, I don't As know. As an IOU. <laughs> <laughs> Hugo said he'll give me a dollar a day, deposited daily, as a reminder of the car I gave up. <laughs> Fuck you. <laughs> uh, Steven wants to know, did you get his pick? No, I don't know where my phone is. Now I've got to f- I just realized I don't have my phone here, so now I've got to find out where it is. <gasps> See, now I don't want my phone to get stolen. I never cared before, but Isn't there's... Right there? There's... No, that's not it. Is it? That's the girl's one. Oh, that's it. 
Oh, that'll do. Yes. <laughs> then yeah. Oh, hooray! I found my phone. Because I seriously. I found should've... your phone. Well, you found my phone. Yes. Yeah. So here you go. Uh, Steph says uh, she'll give you privilege for letting her drive it, and she'll throw in a dick pic as well. It's completely off. <laughs> oh, it's... really? Yeah. God, I fucking hate this piece of shit phone. <laughs> Oh, did you see that on Republic Wireless that they're not going to allow other phones? Yeah. Oh, okay. I know. He didn't get pissed off about it. No. Oh, no. no, I like this phone. I don't mm-hmm. want a different one. So it's a good, it's a good phone. Pictures take. Yeah. Are good? Yeah. No, Steph. I'll, I, Steph, if you throw me in a picture of your dick, I will actually let you have the car. Let's see how committed you, wanna you are. S- you want to see Marcus's dick? No, I want to see much. Steph's dick. <laughs> she said she'll throw in a dick pic too. But then she said Marcus. Oh, I didn't read that bit. <laughs> Welcome to dyslexia. That's not dyslexic. That's just you not reading the next comment. It is. <laughs> Fucking phone. Jesus Christ. What's a Motorola. Go, seriously, go into a room, take a shotgun, stick it in your mouth and pull the trigger. You fucking useless company. You used to make decent phones, and at some point you decided to actually create a phone by taking a large shit in technology. Good God, their phones are terrible. I was actually quite excited to get a Motorola again. I was like, ah, you know. I remember Motorola. No, it's not a flip phone. Well, you just, you got the lowest, it doesn't the matter. lowest Everybody's tier like, phone the they have. Everybody's like, who the fuck uses Motorola? I know, but here's the thing. I know, exactly, you right? You being on a Motorola. Yeah. Actually. I, but here's the thing, right? The spec on the phone isn't too bad. I mean, it's a you know, I guess it's not it's not Samsung Galaxy spec. And but you, you got that was that phone is several several years old because yeah. Republic Wireless gets like the phone. Yeah, I like, agree. You, you told me you wanted that one. Few You're years like, no, after, I don't even care. It's just a phone. So that's probably like a well, 2011 I, phone, and you're still using I, it in 2016. I, did, I no, it's not a main the, thing. And people are like, why the fuck are you using Motorola? Because no. we're Republic Wireless. Yeah, but they have Amazing. all the new phones now. Oh, they do and, now, and yeah, stuff. Yeah. But mm-hmm. I, I've got a Galaxy. I, I got a Note three, and that mm-hmm. performs better. And that's like what uh-huh. four years old now. <laughs> Somebody said, Five imagine years? having a Nokia from Sprint. <laughs> oh, ouch! <laughs> See again, Nokia used to make mm-hmm. kick-ass phones. Mm-hmm. I mean, I uh, the the Nokia I had when I was in Britain. I, I mean, <laughs> I I had that Nokia phone for like like four years, and I just dropped it. I did it. The phone just worked. I mean, granted, it wasn't a smartphone, but just yeah, they just these things are terrible, terrible, terrible phones. Absolutely useless. Fucking hell, man. <sighs> okay, all right. Uh, 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 uh. Who didn't I? Uh, who 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 hey, didn't I? Can I just ask, Hello, where yeah. Are our kids. I don't know. Okay. I think they came back. Did they? Yeah. Okay. I think they came back. Oh, you lot need to download. Uh, what the fuck's it called? Do do no, duo. I don't know. It's the Google's new chat thing. It's actually pretty good. Who are you chatting with on Duo? Nobody. You oh Jesus with me Christ! Yet? No. Well, have you downloaded it? No. Well, there you go. <laughs> Is that like I saw that? It was like like the new texting mm-hmm. or like the new texting way. It's kind of like FaceTime, right? It's FaceTime. Yeah, so it's, it's, it's pretty much Apple fa- or yeah. It's that. like it works anywhere, and it's mm-hmm. simple. It's. Uh, I need to try that. Yeah, yeah, I put it on my I put it on the note just to try it and mm-hmm. see what it was like. You have to verify a phone number, so I had to verify this phone number with <laughs> with that. The other phone. Yeah. So uh You have too many phones. I know. I just want to okay. get a decent phone that I can use. Like when, you know oh, fucking hate cell phones. It's such a rip off. I mean really thirty bucks a month for like, you know, Verizon or whatever they are. I think it's more than that, isn't it? It probably is. Oh, it's got- interesting though. Hello to Messi. He just joined us. Oh, hi. Yeah, so we were talking about hamburgers. <laughs> um but it's it's kind of weird because it's like because I thought about this. I was like you know, people nowadays, I mean, everybody struggles. And I realized it's because we pay way too much for shit now that we never used to. Because I remember the first computer I bought, right, was like 1500 quid, right, which is about 3 grand. And I bought that I didn't finance it. I was like, easy enough, mm-hmm. right? Nowadays, I, w- I would need to think more than twice before spending $3,000 on a computer. And then I realized why. Back then, you didn't have cell phone bills. You didn't have $100 a month internet bills. You didn't have $300 a month cable bills. It's everything that we had spare money. Yeah, and I was like, I could pay for your car if I didn't have a family plan. 
<laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh, phones, exactly. Yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah, I mean, when we got when we dumped AT and T finally, I mean, our bill at that point was like five hundred bucks a month mm-hmm. for the phones, which was just ridiculous. Yeah. Now we're on Republic mm-hmm. now, and that's thirty a month for four phones. Mm-hmm. Yeah, about yeah. Yeah, so. But their problem is they had really shitty phones, but now they've got better phones. Mm-hmm. How fast is that Nexus? Is that still? Yeah, it's yeah, really fast. Yeah. yeah. So. Yeah. So anyway, that's yeah, that's that's my thing. Oh shit, we're late. Mm-hmm. Sorry. Yes. It's okay. You were kind of ranting. Not really. Ranting about being able oh, so to. So we use can the do bathroom. like the Google Duo. Could you like put that into here? So we can have uh, people like call in on that. Yeah, maybe. So that is really cool. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Because my problem is Skype doesn't really work on the, the. It only works on one phone I've got, and that phone. See, technically, that I would don't work. Know where then. it is. Yeah, maybe. Don't give them reasons to call in. <laughs> oh, you know, I hate talking to everybody. Well, everybody like always wants to call in. I know, but there's a reason that I don't let them. I don't want to hear them. <laughs> This show's about me. I don't know why people struggle to grasp that concept. It's called the Jane and Steve show for marketing purposes, okay? Jane's the pretty one. But it's all about massaging my ego. It is. I think they all know that, okay. to be honest. All right. Well, as long yeah, as you I remember that when you call that. in, we can probably do it. Just remember it's my show. It's all about me. It's the Steve show. We should just name it that. What, the Steve show? Yeah, just name no. it the Steve show. People can't take that much awesomeness. <laughs> okay. Can we go? Yes, we're going. All right. We'll catch you all tomorrow. Is it Friday tomorrow? No, it's only Thursday tomorrow. Fuck. I know. Oh, you know, we might be here only tomorrow. Wednesday. Yeah. We got people flirting and and Periscope. It's fantastic. They're like, oh, follow me. Oh, hey, so and so. No. <laughs> so great. <laughs> all right. We will see you guys tomorrow. Have a great Wednesday. Yeah. Wow, so exciting leaving the end of the show. What do you want? I don't Something know. special. Yeah, give people a good, like, happy reason to leave the show. Besides you being a grumpy bastard. Your goal today as people of the show <laughs> is to either give or receive anal. See you tomorrow. Bye. Bye.